All right, today we're gonna learn a little bit about the water system in your RV and where to fill up your fresh water tank and also what a city water connection is. Okay, so first we're going to get a nice hose and this is a fresh clean water hose and I label it and I also have a black water hose which is in a completely separate compartment. And I have two hoses. I have this one and this one's up my backup hose, but typically I have everybody use this hose. So we're going to close this and walk around. Okay, I get a two for pack at Walmart and these are uh, freshwater filters and they're high flow. So meaning you could turn the water on um, pretty good because you have a 44, or at least I have a 44 gallon tank. So it takes a while to fill up. Um, two of these is about 25 bucks or you can get them online of course, but it's just easier to go down to the piggly wiggly. Always take this uh, hose off. You don't want this. This is not a non-potable hose. Okay, so this is gonna go on the spigot end. Make sure you have a nice seal inside there. So you just turn this into the spigot. And what this does is it takes out a lot of your contaminants, uh, which you do not want in your freshwater tank. Uh, you can look on the back and these are all the contaminants that it takes out. And then you're basically going to put your freshwater hose and I always make sure that I always have these closed so then no uh, bugs or anything like that tend to get inside. Take this little guy off right here and then plug that in. And then it also shows, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty easy. It just says the high flow is going this way so that you know the water's going to go this way towards you. So I'm just going to turn this on and what I'm going to do is this has charcoal inside there. It's a charcoal filter. I don't know if you saw when it started, but a little bit of charcoal came out when I first started. So I'm going to purge this a little bit, probably about two minutes. Also right below my freshwater tank in my compartment here is where I have my charcoal filter. So don't forget to change out your charcoal filter. Uh, I believe every six months. Okay, on my master control panel here, I have a water pump button, and I would turn the water pump on using water that's in the tank. If I'm using the city water connection, which is on my driver's side, I do not want the water pump on because I already have water pressure coming in from the city. Okay, on your RV or on my RV and uh, different trailers and fifth wheels and such, you have two different systems. So you have a freshwater tank and then you also have a city water connection. On my freshwater tank, it's on the, I like to say port and starboard, it's on my starboard side, which is the passenger side. So it's, it's a non-connection, so there's no actual connection in there. Uh, so I leave on my pressure regulator just to have somewhere to kind of leave it on there, because this is gonna take about 20 minutes to fill. So I just walk over. I've already purged all the water out, so I'm just gonna turn it on. And I can actually turn this on to full blast. And what's gonna happen is the water's gonna start filling up. Okay, we're in the master bedroom right now and I just wanna show you where the water tank actually is, at least on my rig. So the water tank is underneath the master bed and there it is right there filling it up. This is the main water coming in right there and that's a vented uh, vent right there. So when I have so much water coming in, of course, there's going to be pressure coming into this tank, so it has a vent going out. When the tank is completely full, water will backfill through the vent and pop out that uh, outside. So we'll see what that looks like. Also, since I rent my RV out, I always want to label everything and keep it as simple as possible for the uh, renter. Okay, I could start hearing it a little bit. You can hear it starting to um, fart a little bit. Now the water is going to come out. And when that happens, you're basically done. Now if you have water coming out afterwards, it's okay. And if you make a right or left turn, you may have uh, more water even coming out after that. But it's fine. It's just, uh, it's a full tank. It's not going to go back into the tank. It's just coming out right here. So my hose won't make it all the way up to my city water connection, so I'm going to attach my second hose onto there. Okay, so I put my other hose on, and you can see I have two different um, pressure regulators. Doesn't really matter. I like this pressure reg regulator because it fits in this a little nicer. Um, 
this spins right here. So as we put it in, it's going to spin and lock it in nice and tight. Now, it says city water connection. It does not fill the tank. So when you are putting your water into this side of your RV and it says city water connection, you're only putting pressure into your plumbing. There's, it does not fill the tank at all. I've seen a lot of people in Alaska and all over the place at a, at a fill station, put it in here and they're not filling the tank. So I've had to come over and help numerous people tell them not, that this does not fill the tank. Okay, so I'll go turn on the water. So the water pressure's on and we can go inside now and just turn on the sink and the shower and all those good things and you should have full pressure. So since we were driving with this uh, tank full, now we're on city water connection. So we're gonna turn the water pump off because we no longer need or want the water pump on. And you have full uh, water coming in. And this is city fed. So you don't need any, uh, any tank, excuse me, you don't need a water pump on because it will automatically provide its own pressure. Quick side note, I always um, put these two together so no critters can get in there like I said earlier and I drain my water hose so it's completely empty and on my water filter I drain my water filter so there's no more water in there and then I put my cap on the top and bottom so no critters can crawl in there because critters love water okay and of course you're always gonna have your black water um, hose completely separate from your freshwater hose and that black water hose is for right here. This is a black water flush. So when you're, when you're done emptying the tank of black and gray water, you're gonna flush your black water tank. That's basically it. Hope you guys learned something and uh, I don't know, give me a comment.